Well, hello and welcome to this month's live stream. Hope you're doing all well. How are you two doing? Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks, yourself? Yeah, ticking away, mate. Ticking away. You know, away. I can barely move my arm, but I'm all good apart from that. What's wrong with your arm? Yeah. I don't know what I've done. I, well, I decided I was going to take a tree out for a neighbour and it's I've done something to it, but never mind. To the tree? No, to my arm. <laughs> I've oh, done something okay. to the tree, definitely. The tree's no it's longer definitely... there. Uh, you are going to mm. replant one after you did that, though, aren't you? Yeah, they are. Yeah, not my mm. responsibility for that one because mm. it was in the neighbour's garden. But yes, that's mm. what the plan is. You <laughs> <laughs> said about that one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, dear. Yeah, so what have you been up to? How about you, Matt? Just work? Um, I don't even know to be honest what I've been up to. I've just been just chasing my tail like a little Jack Russell. Yeah. Well, you did a trip, didn't you? You did a trip with Luigi away up to the uh, to the lake not so long yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. Just a just a just a one day workshop. Um, it's um it's difficult in winter. It's winter over here in Italy, so it's either you go up right up into the Dolomites and enjoy your ski season, or you kind of you know it's that time of year where. If there's no snow around, it's just that time of year where everything's just dull, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But we, yeah, we travelled up to to this this lake, which was over two thousand meters. Yeah, and we took a took a group up there, and um, the lake was supposed to freeze over, and it didn't. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it was nice to go up there anyway. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, got a. I seem to remember two... that discussion. Last time that that lake was going to freeze over. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't freeze over. It'll freeze over tomorrow. Yeah, yeah when you're not there. Yeah. yeah, when I'm not there. Yeah, that was nice though. It's good. It's good. Just good to be outdoors with a nice group of people and have fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I've mm. I've done it a couple of trips. I've just come back from Glencoe at the weekend, and as you do, yeah. as you do, mm. mind you, it chucked it down for most of the time I was there. But such is mm. the way when you go up there. Yeah, that's it. They get a fair bit of rain, don't they? Yeah, well, the first day wasn't too bad. We got some decent light, but the second day, yeah, it was just a downpour and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face, really. Yeah. But that's Scotland. We could bring some of the rain a bit further down. I know that France at the moment is struggling. They're in a big drought, a winter drought. They've come through a drought during summer. It's going to be tough times. Hopefully, Mm. something. Starts um we start getting a lot of rain coming in soon. Otherwise, we're going to be in strife again for for summer, yeah. aren't we? Huh? Well, you can have some of ours. Mm. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm sick of yeah. looking at the stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our theme for this month was seascapes, and we've had a load come in. Actually, just in the last couple of weeks, really, we've had a lot come in. Um, some really nice looking images. So I'll start sharing my screen because I forgot to test this, of course. Um, a bit of a theme it makes it hard for everybody doesn't it to say hey seascapes when you come from texas you know it makes it a bit difficult doesn't it yeah it does doesn't it yeah but yeah it does um so yeah it's it's one of those themes that it doesn't um yeah not everyone can do it can they no, uh, sometimes it's nice as well to, like if people do live in texas they might have some old old images maybe mm-hmm. yeah well, this is it. I mean, the the thing is with these themes, we're never going to hit everybody. But I mean, with hopefully the idea is, whoever doesn't get on one month will get on the next month with something else. So it was, it swings and roundabouts, really. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's not a it's not a competition at the end of the day, is it? It's just we're just no. a discussion. No. I mean, it's about yeah, just definitely. discussing images and and learning together, pretty much. Yeah, isn't for it? sure. Yeah. Mm. So we'll crack on with this first one. Oh, and uh, let me make that. Oh, there we yeah. go. Where is it? I'm going to bring up on my screen. Who is that boy? That uh, is, hang on, that's Tiago Passos. Tiago, Tiago Passos. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Let me look at that there. Mm. It... Hang on, there's something weird going on. Bear with me. That's me. I'm Australian. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go there we go yeah it's it's uh it's really dramatic this isn't it it's really yeah dramatic. and pretty well taken because uh, this the thing is he's got the shutter speed pretty bang on for this because none of Gorgeous. those birds are moving 
Yeah. It's insane, um, isn't it, huh? Yeah, really is. There's some lovely sort of blue tones in that water. It's quite difficult to tell from this image because it's just a JPEG that's pulled down from Facebook. But mm, mm. but looking yeah. at, looking at it, it's uh, I bet it's a really nice image, full resolution. There's definitely a lot of action in this shot, isn't there? It's one of those. Um, um, it's a very vibrant shot, isn't it? You've got all those birds flying around. You've got that lighthouse. And wherever yeah. you see a lighthouse, you just imagine you've got these waves smashing up against everything. It's very active, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I Good think composition. Mm. Yeah, I think so. And I think looking at it, he's uh, increased the whites quite a bit to make that water really stand out. Yeah. Like you said, you've got them blue tones as well. Which yeah, off against the the background, the sky. I tell you what, he's done a bloody he's done a bloody good job though. If you look at the background there, you got that sky in the background, right? It's not easy to separate. Okay, if you imagine when you're taking mm. this shot, um, you're gonna have a, a single exposure shot, aren't you? You're not gonna be doing exposure blending <laughs> with an image like this, are you? Because it's all about you know that one take, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. To to actually separate that water spray, that wave. From the actual sky itself, um, it's not an easy job. Um, I'd be very interested to see what techniques have been used here in post processing because it's um, not an easy job at all. Unless behind you there was a genuinely a storm mm -hmm. with a warmer white balance, much yeah. warmer white balance, and a, a very much um, lit up foreground. Um, but I mean, you can tell that there is some post-production there and it's not easy post-production to separate the sky and those waves, is it? I mean, no. you guys know, you've been in that, in that instance before when you try and make this clear separation between the two to try and give things dimension and it's, it's not, um, it's not easy at all. No, no, definitely not easy. Definitely not easy. Very, like I said, the composition helps as well. Um, He's completely, obviously, completely isolating the lighthouse, isn't he? And using, yeah, but he's really focused on the on the lighthouse as well, isn't he? So I don't know, it's quite hard to tell on my screen. I was looking at it earlier. It looks quite, I don't know what sort of aperture is used. What do you think? Sort of oh, I would, I would be, out. yeah, it'd be quite open. I wouldn't say, yeah, anything, yeah, more than, I wouldn't say anything more than if, if, um, if eight would probably be the most. Probably, yeah, because would be you can tell you can see the background there's all kind of out yeah. there. So. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so obviously that's another another technique he's used to try and help make it pop as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, the show's really nice perfect for me. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely. Definitely. I like it. Killing, killing two birds with one stone, so you you know, freezing them birds as well, which is yeah. Yeah, because that can be a problem when you've got two things going on at, at once. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's it's a nice it's a nice shot. It's very yeah. nice. It's quite gritty and raw, isn't it? It is. Like. Yeah. There's there's not too much I would say negatively about it. Actually, it's it's a nice image. The only thing I'm not a hundred percent keen on is these weird sort of grey tones in the water in the middle there. Yeah, just just round here, it's it's maybe difficult for you to see, but round here they've got it's there's some weird grey tones in there, sort of really sort of royal blue sort of colour in in there. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to assess though, isn't it, with a compressed it, JPEG image? When you're yeah, talking it's about really tones difficult. And, yeah, yeah, but no, yeah. good shot, really good like shot. It. Well I like done, it. Apart from that. Lovely. Yeah. I I would I would like to see what how this image would benefit from a square crop actually. Um, mm. I, I do find that the composition doesn't speak to me. Um, it's all what's speaking to me here is obviously the um, the action, and yeah. um, if you were to break it down into um, a critique, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, th there's nothing that really, really is that interesting as far as the composition goes itself. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. Um, the the beauty of this shot is is obviously the um, the wave itself. I find that this sort of um, 
concrete structure that's coming from the left to right. Um, it doesn't doesn't help the image much at yeah, all. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'll probably shift over the up the opposite direction there, mate. With the with the crop, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop about there. Yeah. Yeah. See what it looks like. See, it's less distracting now, isn't it? You haven't got this big lump of of cement that's on this left hand side that sort of yeah, shifts, I know what you mean. shifts across, you know. Yeah. Um, it maybe puts focus it's, on the action. Yeah, eh? yeah well, maybe cropped in a little bit too much. A yeah, tad it's wider a bit harsh, open. But... Yeah, a tad harsh, but um, yeah. you know, um, it, 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 like like we said on, on many other lives, you know, cropping is a powerful tool, isn't it? We should use it more often. Yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, yeah, I look beautiful. I wouldn't be able to capture that. So well done, mate. I'll be interesting yeah. to know if you get on tonight. What was your shutter speed you used there? Be interested to know mm -hmm. what it was. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And so, uh, Jeff, <laughs> sorry to interrupt, guys. Uh, Jeff Daniels says good evening. Um, John says evening all. Josh says I love it, but I clone out a few of the birds to clean it up a bit. Um, Josh guesses looks like it was shot on a long lens, maybe two hundred mil. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. shot on a long lens. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. <clears throat> yeah. I would say so. The birds actually don't bother me too much. I must admit. No, I know what he means when we when it was when it was a wider scene. Yeah, I think so. When there it's cropped couple, down, though. It's, yeah, yeah, there's a couple mm. on the right there which didn't really need to be there, but but by mm. cropping it, it achieves the mm. same thing, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. But yeah. Well done, mate. Nice yeah. shot. Yeah, lovely nice shot. Job, yeah. Lovely yeah. shot. So. I'm just going to move on to uh, another one, which is this one here, which is Richard Duckworth, and it's um, Hasita Head, it's called. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, Little Lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not why we're on the theme of lighthouses. Let's what, what are we taking? Are we taking photos of seascapes or something? I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, it might have been. It might have been something like that. You never know. Mm. <laughs> it's playing it's doing weird stuff this tonight there we go it's playing up, it's playing yeah. up mate there we go mm. yeah it's nice that I like it yeah yeah it's a happy image isn't it what do you think it is like a walk like it just makes you feel I know, I know the sea looks pretty cold but um, I don't know it's just a nice bright image yeah it's a postcard image isn't it yeah yeah, 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 pretty much. We don't need drama in our lives all the time, do we? You know, I think sometimes no. things can just be simple and straightforward. Yeah. Well, I think, I think what he's got going on there is is there's three sort of elements going on to the image, isn't there? So mm. you've got one, two, three sections of land there, which works quite well because images always seem to work quite well when there's threes in them. Yeah, mm. it's nicely balanced. Yeah, mm. yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think so. Straight definitely. out of the camera. There's not much. I don't think anything no. really much in post production has been done to it. Yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. Tells the scene, doesn't it? That time of day. Yeah. It's probably what midday, one o'clock. Yeah. Um, no, no, actually a bit later. Can, that sun's yeah, a bit lower than that. Actually, a bit but, lower maybe. But yeah, mm. yeah. I, I like the way that I like the way that the light has sort of captured the sides of the um of the, the cliffs and and clipped the yeah, yeah. Clipped the lighthouse to give a bit of atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just... lighting up the spray, isn't it? So you can see a bit of sea spray and mist coming up the cliff face. and mm. Yeah. It does make you bit... want to see a bit more of the atmosphere, doesn't it? A little bit yeah. more, maybe a bit further back. I mean, yeah. we're not... when, you're, tight, when you're zooming yeah. in, when you're going in tight, if you're not going in tight to actually... Um... Oh, how, do, how do you explain it? Okay, if I'm, if I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to capture an intimate scene, um, I want to try and capture something that's very specific in that composition that sort of speaks to me, you know, whether you've got lines that, that work through each entire part of the frame that complement the whole entire part of the frame. Mm. If you're going to zoom in on something that's sort of maybe a grander landscape, um, yeah, try and respect mm. the rule of thirds to some point of view. I mean, I would think that would it work moving back a little bit more and having a little bit more sky in there? I don't know. You'd have to see what the scene is like itself, but yeah, maybe it does feel like it's just a pinch 
uh, zoomed yeah. in, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think it's it's more or less it's it's on that rock that leads into the sea down here, mm. down there. It kind mm. of it's almost kind of feels a bit tight. Yeah, yeah. A bit more room. Yeah, yeah. you get the same yeah. thing. Same thing if somebody's kind of cut out sky above a mountain or something like that. You get the, you yeah. get the same sort of effect. It just feels a bit constrained. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what's happened here because probably the sky's bright and blue, and he's thought, "Wow, why can't why I, why focus on it?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 So he's tried yeah. to pinch in, and like you said, he's been caught between a rock and a hard place a little bit. Of what? Mm. <clears throat> what I see what he did doesn't... there. I see what he did there. <laughs> yeah, unintentionally, <laughs> obviously. I ain't that smart on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Between a rock and a hard place. I see exactly what you did there, mate. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but yeah. I I think I probably would have come back a touch, and I probably would have experimented with shutter speeds with the water as well, just to see if it gave anything, any sort of interest to the scene. Mm. Yeah. It might have even it, this might even be a quite a cropped image, obviously, might it? Yeah, <laughs> you might have cropped in post, maybe. Mm, yeah, you don't really know, but yeah, it's a nice scene, eh, Richard? Really, really nice job, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. As Joss has co- put in the comments there, I saw this shot on the group. I was about to say picture postcard too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with them shots. So, um. Want to remind you, so next month I thought we'd come up with a theme of woodland because I don't think we've done it before, have we? Haven't we? No. Have we done woodland? Uh, I can't remember. I think so, have we? So we're saying woodland, it comes under the um, anyone who doesn't speak in the UK, the English language, it comes under forest. Forest. Um, yeah. Yeah, forest um, or woodland. Bush. Yeah. yeah any. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of trees. <laughs> yeah, well, usually, I mean, it's a big genre over here in the UK, woodland photography. Mm. Um, but yeah, forest photography, uh, woodland photography, whatever it comes under, I think mm. would be a good one to go with yeah, yeah. next month. Mm. Um, so if you could submit those images to the official Outdoor Photography Guide Facebook group using the hashtag OPG Critique, and yeah, put your get your images in for next month. We'd love to see them. Uh, as we say, I tried to move away from the coast this time and uh, go for something different. So we're going to go with woodland for next month. Um, topic, right, mate. going to move on to another image. Now this is a bit of a. Hang on, what's Katie just saying there? We've done summer greens. Home, water, winter reflections and seascapes. Yeah, so if we go with uh, woodland or forest photography, we uh, <laughs> we haven't really covered that one. Good on you, Cardi. That shows you're not sleeping. You're actually awake and you're, <laughs> and you're listening to us. <laughs> Good job. On you, so, Cardi. This one here stood out to me because it was something different because we haven't really had Astro no, we haven't have we? image on this before. It's because so it's good. It's only because none, none of us actually know how to take astrophotography. No, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> didn't we, 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 we tried it, Paul, on the, on the workshop in October in Italy, didn't yeah. we, mate? And just, yeah, it worked. It did work, did it? but that was, the, yeah. that was the first time I'd actually tried it properly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bit of a mission. It's a different ball game, really, to what you used to. Completely used different ball game, isn't it? Yeah, just, just, I uh, just. <laughs> just press the button and, and keep the lens open for 30 seconds and pray for buggery that something comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this stood out to me. Now, I, th- I think I have a feeling, just let me go back there because I think this is pretty sure it's Hawaii. Oh, no, pu- uh, Puerto Rico. What do we think? Yeah, yeah. By Brent Newman, Puerto mm-hmm. Rico. Mm. <laughs> and I just thought it was uh, something different. It's a seascape, but uh, a night seascape. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like the yeah, idea like... behind it. It's challenging, mm-hmm. isn't it? Because you obviously you have to have your lens open for at least fifteen seconds, don't you? Yeah. I mean, it, it depends on what ISO you're using, what camera sensitivity you've got. Yeah. Um, but um, you have to have your lens open for at least fifteen seconds. So obviously, fifteen seconds open, you're going to get. You've got trees there. Those palm trees yeah. are going to move, and, can... and they have. You, you know, see them all moving, and yeah. you can see them. So it's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it is. it's easy. It's easy to do this shot of a mountain, isn't it? Because mountains don't move. 
Yeah, well, this is it. The, I mean, the only real option you could have had there is really to uh, probably light, light paint it and um, mm. use a faster shutter speed for the foreground and then blend it. <laughs> but that time of evening, mate, how are you gonna how are you gonna pull out those shadows? They're not gonna yeah, exactly. be that's, so noisy. Yeah, that's not the issue. Work. Isn't it? Or you do a um, uh, sort of a time lapse. What do you refer to them as these days? Take a shot during the day, then take one at night. All oh, right, there is like a word a, for it. What yeah, a time yeah. blend? Okay. Yeah, it's like the yeah, time like blend. yeah, time, time blend. blend. Yeah, but yeah. Mm. You've done yeah, a bloody, you've you've done a good job at it, regardless, mate. It's not easy no. because um you're gonna get tree movement, and you can see in those distant trees you can't tell, but obviously those ones in your immediate foreground they're very fuzzy. Yeah, so yeah, um, they are. Yeah, but um, there's nothing wrong with that too. It shows movement, doesn't it? It's it not does. that distracting. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know much about this photography, but I would have probably made a sky selection so in mm -hmm. in Lightroom. Or in Photoshop and done it manually and grabbed an actual sky selection and um, and enhanced your blacks a bit more. So really, really yeah. darken it or or do the cheat and use, um, what do we call it? I hate to use that slider because it's um, the haze, the haze slider. Dehaze, dehaze yeah, yeah, slider. Yeah. And you would, if you would let those blacks come through a bit more, you would, let it punch a bit more and those stars would be a bit more prominent, especially mm. that, that beautiful sweeping cloud coming across there too would, would sort yeah. of stand out a bit more. I think it's a little bit too, bit too subtle. Mm. Yeah. And it's, I love the way it reflects down in the water down here. So you've got that lovely sort of color in the, in the cloud. And then it's, it's also reflecting down in the water down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the color tones are <clears throat> quite nice, aren't they? Yeah. They're subtle. They're not in your face, which is no, they're not, nice no. to see. <clears throat> no, look, it's yeah. a nice shot, and it's it's very hard to obviously, you know, as you know, to focus and you know get yeah. your composition set, you know, and it's a, it's well, quite that's hard probably what you would do. focus on right there, the uh, the brightest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's a dis different image, and I thought I would bring it up, bring it up just because it's different, and it's mm. yeah, it's mm. nice to see something like this for a change. It's a nice story as well, isn't it? You know, he's um, Brent's obviously planned it and probably scoped the scene out during the day, so he knew roughly he wanted to stand, and he stayed up or got up early. So it's mm. it's a nice story. It's a nice build up to it as well. We'll probably find out in a few weeks' time that he had a few drinks with his friends on the <laughs> beach and passed out in the sand and woke up and took a photo with his phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how iPhone pictures turn out these days. They tend to get it right every single time, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, a lovely image, that lovely image. <laughs> yeah, well done, Brent. Like that. On you, mate. Good stuff. So, just want to remind you that next month is going to be the theme woodland or forest photography. Um, mm. If you could get your images into the official Outdoor Photography Guide Facebook group using the hashtag OPG Critique, and we'll look forward to seeing those next month. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to bring another one up now, which is this one. And this one is um, by T Venue Gopal, and it's Hawaii, this one, taken in Hawaii. And I just, I, it was the only submission we've had that actually um, experimented with shutter speed in such mm -hmm. a way. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's obviously a detail shot. Um, but it's a really nice detail shot, I think. It captured the uh, the movement of the water really nicely, I think. Yeah, I really like this one. <clears throat> some reason, my voice is going. It's it's one of those, again, that I feel would probably benefit from a crop. <clears throat> more so. More cropping than that. You reckon? It's pretty bloody tight, mate. Yeah, but uh, what I mean is more like a square crop. Oh, Oh, really? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I think uh, it's especially. Yeah, I, 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 it's hard to say, mate, because it's that it's that cropped already. It's that honed in. <clears throat> if you go any tighter than that, you're going to suffocate the hell out of it. At least you get a bit of breathing room at that top area there. Yeah, yeah. Look you know, it on a, yeah. yeah. Look at it on a big screen. Don't look at it that small. Um. 
I was going to say it would look it would look good as one of your um, signature Fuji panos. Oh, the strip panos. Yeah, you know <clears> something <throat> really arty. You know something you could see hanging on a a nice London pad or a ro- a ro- in Rome or something. Well, the strip panels see on hang- hanging on. Yeah, yeah. So if I take that into but, there, but like taken, you know, it's, I think it's going to be too too tight now. Been like in in the field, maybe. Yeah, it probably need to be done in the field, but in the, the field, kind of yeah. That the strip panel gives you. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, I, mean, I don't. I know, agree. But... I agree with you there, Tom. You've cropped it from the bottom up. It does give it far much more balance, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I that's what I thought earlier when I looked at. It. I was just thinking maybe it's a bit top heavy. Hmm. Top um, heavy bit... or bottom heavy. Bottom, bottom heavy, I would bottom say. Heavy, bottom sorry. heavy, sorry. Bottom heavy, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is a shame because I like I, I like the ripples, you know, from the previous crop. You yeah, yeah. See the ripples in the sand. Let me come out with that again. Yeah. So you've lost them now, but I don't know whether. Yeah, see them down there, obviously, but. Yeah, but they're not that prominent, are they? Because no, it's maybe a, it's not. A, this image is it's it's a long shadow speed, but it's almost like you've got a bit of um intentional camera shake in it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you um it's it's not dynamic, that foreground. So you, if you get rid of it, it doesn't really the I think the the um what captures your eye in this shot is basically the um the the colour difference between the the actual yeah. water and the sand itself. Um, mm. Is the thing that makes you st- it makes it stand out more than anything else. So I think that crop before actually benefited benefited a lot from it. Yeah, because I suppose when you know if you if you post it like like it was before, you, you haven't seen the ripples, so you don't know that you're not you're missing them. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, there's yeah. Look, there's no there's nothing that significant in the immediate foreground that would um you know that would you we, we, we I wouldn't worry about. Taking that out at all. Look at that again, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, for me, that's better. <clears throat> yeah, much better, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it simplifies it. It's uh, it's not quite as in your yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I love the I love the glow. I I like the fact that it's got an air of mystery because it's almost like is the moon is it is it moonlit? Is that light that's coming from the centre down? Yeah. It's yeah, almost no like idea. a moonlit glow, isn't it, on top of the surface, but only in the middle, which I quite like. Mm. I love these shots. Just going to the beach where you've got nothing around you at all but yeah, water, yeah. sky, and sand. And yeah. just yeah. play with shutter speeds and light. Um, yeah, it's a very rewarding photo- type of photography, isn't it? When you've got it those is, three yeah. elements, um, those three elements working together. Um, beautiful. If anyone's ever in a creative rut, I recommend you just get your – Get your camera gear and travel down to the beach. Go to yeah. any beach. You don't have to go to anything specific as long as it's a nice, clean beach. Um, mm. Get there early, early in the morning. Yeah. So there's not just, 20 um... million dogs been along it. and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dog pooing <laughs> on your tripod leg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Disturbing all that lovely fresh sand. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, lovely shot. Lovely shot. I like that. Just that Great shot. Different. Yeah. Right, now I have a shot here that I was going to bring up before I do. Next month's um, theme is going to be woodland or forest photography, so submit those images to the official Outdoor Photography Guide Facebook group using the hashtag OPG Critique. Um, this next image... I like the subject matter, but I'd like to see what you guys think about <clears throat> this. <clears throat> All right, hang on, let me get up on the screen. I seen this one. Oh, I seen this one earlier and thought it'd be worth looking at. There's lots of elements I like about it. Compositionally, I like it. Yeah, it's, the composition's you know pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah, I like the way it kind of leads you in. Yeah, it does lead you in, yeah. It's... Uh, who took this one? Jim. Jim, by the look of it. Harrison Harbour Lighthouse. 
um, Jim Harrison, and it's Bass Harbour Lighthouse. Let me just look it on my phone. Another right. bloody lighthouse. Yeah, another lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> the popular in seascapes. <laughs> <laughs> um... So is dogs poo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I, I really like the image. What I find though is that is the colours have gone into nuclear overdrive. Yeah, uh, it's, um, it's. I was, I was just checking on my phone because it looks completely different on your phone, the iPad, the, the MacBook. Yeah, and then the LG monitor I got is it's slightly different. I just want to double check. It's it's very it's a bit sickly. Yeah, we have inconsistent. Yeah, Real, realistic colors here because we have this um, extremely darkened magenta in the in the sky, mixed mm. with a um, a very saturated orange, and it, that is not something that natural in a sky. So immediately when you look at an image like this, you think, "Whoa." That's yeah. a, that's that's an you know if you put this up on like okay don't get me wrong if you put this image up on Instagram for example this image yeah. would have a far lot more success than it would any image I've ever put on Instagram because it's eye catching it's yeah. eye catching because it is out there okay so if your intention was to be completely out there you've done a brilliant job mm. but it's very inconsistent with reality um, on many aspects. Yeah. Um, I like the the destination. Um, obviously, there's a guy down there who's taking a picture with his phone too, who likes the sunset. So definitely, there was a sunset there. Um, <laughs> it hasn't hasn't been um, cut and pasted into the uh, into the skyline there. Mm. I, I honestly, if I was in that spot, I would have probably shifted off to the left hand side of the rocks a bit more and sort of looked across a bit more at the house. Yeah. To give the house a look, the lighthouse a little bit more of importance, sort of yeah. shifting over a bit more, and that way eliminating a lot of this unnecessary rock foreground. A lot of that rock foreground is a bit messy. Mm. It's um, it doesn't. It's a bit too much. This big thing in your face that doesn't take you anywhere. The all this rock yeah. formation. It's more all of this out here, to be honest, because it's kind of. Leading you off to the left. Yeah, this isn't so bad, yeah. but this here kind of yeah it leads you off. Yeah, out of the yeah. Bit. Look for me, for me, it, the the composition <clears throat> is how the way it's been processed is. <laughs> you know, it's, it is like like Matt said, it is hitting you in the chops, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the the, the intention was definitely there, and, and and you've done a great job. Yeah. Your intention was to do that, and that's fantastic. But if we wanted to break it down. Um, yeah. and say, okay, let's get back to reality. Um, yeah, there was definitely some things you would, you would, uh, if I was at that spot, I, w I would have approached it differently, but you know what? I wouldn't get the, um, social media likes that this image probably would have got. And depends what your intention is with the image, isn't it really? Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, yeah. when you actually look at the image, you can actually see that there's there's already nice light. You've already got nice light on this sort of rock yeah. face over here, yeah. which is yeah. leading down. You've already got nice light hitting the lighthouse. So, it, yeah, it's just for me, it could have just been dialed back quite a lot, and you would have brought enhanced those those little details of the uh, of the light hitting these different places. Whereas at the minute, it's just punches you in the face everything hits you at once uh, okay yeah. look if you look for example guys okay if you if you go straight bang down the middle of the scene all right and you hit the skyline and you see there's a little tiny rock formation right in the back and there's that break in the sky yeah. isn't there yeah now to the right of that you can see there is a glow so i don't know if this was intentionally done or this was the actual light itself but mm. that glow suggests that's where the sun set is coming from okay so if that is the case why do we have on the right hand side of the image in the middle of the foreground um a rock formation has been completely lit up by the sun that actually wasn't on the left hand side that's what i'm talking about inconsistency that's when you yeah when you see images like this they look yeah. fantastic for that one second on social media mm. 
as soon as it goes past that one second, you have to look at it and think, oh, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? So I think you're right, Paul. There was definitely something going on there. It'd be great to see what the raw image would look like because it could you could have given this scene far more justice yeah. by not overdoing it in post-production. But, you know. Each to their own at the end of the day. Yeah, if definitely. Look, yeah. If this was the look he was trying to get, then that's yeah. that's fine. I mean, it's Yeah, of course. Yeah, thing. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, John says, I like the composition and subject, but the colours are quite dazzling and oversaturated for me. Mm. Yeah. 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 We've but all I mean, been yeah. down there. We've all been down that track. I remember when I first started with um, with post-processing, and I think it was, guys, don't beat me up. It was <laughs> Photoshop Elements. That was the first, first program I used. And... Although my first digital camera, I had this button on there that said "raw." I had no idea what it was. I thought it was a, <laughs> I thought it was a button that kind of got the crank handle out. That's what. The... <laughs> oh, no yeah. idea. So we're talking about that was what two thousand and seven <laughs> when I got my first digital camera. Two thousand and seven, and yeah, there's this raw button on the side. I had no idea what it was, but then you could hear people saying, "Oh, you got to take your photos in raw," and I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." I know what yeah. JPEG means. I was taking my yeah. photos in JPEG and then I'd bring them up in Photoshop Elements and saturate the hell out of them. I'm like, mm. whoa, look at that. It looks awesome. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it. you do when you first start, isn't it? It's it's because yeah. you, you push everything to the limits. Oh, what is it? How, how, how far does this slider yeah, go? Yeah, does it go to 11? You're developing, yeah. isn't you? And... <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, us, like, like we were saying before, the intention is photographer is probably to do this in this way because they want to do it that way. So that's fantastic. You know, if yeah, that's the way absolutely. you wanted that image, that's great. That's, that's at the great. End of, at the end of the day, we're just here to give you our opinion on a, on an image. And if, if at any point your intention was to do it in a certain way, don't take us as well, what we're saying is telling you that you're wrong because yeah. there's no wrong and right way to do it. There's just different ways. That's all. Yep. And I've taken I've taken plenty of elements out of my images that not so much fix things but move, moving parts that people might disagree with um you know it's just the way it is uh, yeah everyone just the to their day, own. at the end of the day that's how everybody develops their own style it's yeah. not by it's not by um going with what everybody else wants to do it's going with what mm. feels right to you at the end of yeah. the day yeah Lovely image, lovely subject. And at the end of the day, you know, he's Jim's out there taking pictures. So, well, that's all that yep. matters. He's getting out there and doing it, isn't he? That's the main exactly. thing. I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't mind going to that place. Actually, it's quite inviting, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. that's decent. Isn't yeah. It? I could take the picture, and you could go and stand down there with that chap. Is that? Mm. And then we'd swap over. Put a yellow beanie on, Matt, and you'd look just the job. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Instagram mm. shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to remind everybody next month's theme is going to be woodland or forest photography. Um, please submit your images to the official outdoor photography Facebook group using the hashtag OPG critique. Um, really looking forward to seeing what you can come up with for that. Obviously trees, um, woodland trails, whatever it might be. It's kind of quite an open thing as long as it includes woodland and forest. Mm, a good one, that one. Oh yeah, on my street. Yeah, yeah I thought it would interest you that one. So that's. Oh, thanks, mate. That's for me. Well, you know, you've got to look after you every now and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the next image I'm going to bring up is by um, Joe Zamudio, and it's in Iceland, and it's just it's more of a oh, monotone yeah. image. This, mm. yeah, which isn't really my speciality. I must admit, it. I'm not a great mm. monotone fan, but. It stood out to me this because it was just mm. really simple. Yeah, it's an iconic location. What's the name of the beach? Yeah, is it? I'm Black not entirely sand, sure. To be um, honest. Black Beach or Lick Black, Beach yeah. or something or Vic Vic maybe or Vist, something like that. Yeah, something like Vistral that. Vistral Beach. Something, never, yeah. never been to, never been to Iceland, but um. No, me neither. Uh, no, I haven't been to Iceland. Yeah, look, it's hard to tell. The compression's so low on this image for some reason. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of resolution to be able to crit to critique this image. That's the issue here. It's black and yeah. white, but I'm missing a lot of resolution. 
Um, it's a hard yeah. one, a hard one to actually say anything on it, to be honest with you, because um, we've got yeah a low resolution image with a lot of blown out whites, haven't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's very high key, um, isn't it? Yeah, the composition. The comp- it's probably a little bit too. too the composition's probably yeah. The, the foreground's a bit too much cut. You think there's no, yeah. just a slight lack of leading line or. Yeah, I think it for me it needs to that that needs to lead in from more on the bottom round corner. Yeah, as opposed to the middle. Yeah, that white. it's so hard though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. The yeah. res on this image is so hard to actually tell what what's really going on. Bit of a shame. I think for me, just looking at. It, at what I'm seeing from it, um, I would probably want to be a bit further right because this is you've not really got a separation. There's obviously three um C stacks there. Yeah. And that third one back there is hidden by this this other one here. Yeah, it almost looks like it's a bit of ghosting from the front one, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, definitely. I think you'd yeah. either want to be further to the left to kind of hide yeah. it, or you'd yeah. want yeah. to be further to the right to expose it more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah. Because and then just, that way you would get that leading line would come in more. more yeah, it would simplify it again. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah I think it's just too hard, too hard to critique this one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think a, a lot of the time, um, people kind of think about what they can actually add to an image to make it. It's more about what you can take away from it, mm. what you can subtract from the image and yeah. simplify it. It'll actually make a better image. Mm. That that'll be interesting to see how, because that 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 is one of the main things I always preach on about with workshops and things in the woods. It's not about it's it's that. Mm. It's it's if it ain't adding to it, get rid, get of, rid it. of it. Yeah. Not yeah. about is that going to add anything? Shall I add it? Any? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I won't dwell on this too much. I just brought it up because it's. Um... I thought it was an interesting image because it's kind of a monochrome image. We don't mm. get too many of those. Steve but, says it would look better if the top half was cropped down a bit, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it needs yeah, more the, foreground. Definitely needs more foreground. It yeah, needs yeah. Some, we need some detail on the shot, don't we? We've got a lot of that blown-out sky there. Um, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it is. It's a hard image to critique. With the, the, the lack of resolution we have here, it's... it's um, yeah, it's not much we can say. We don't have much detail to focus on, do we? But look, congratulations on you for going there. I'm sure you got lots of fantastic shots. In yeah. this case, I don't know how the image was uploaded to Facebook, but um, yeah, it's a bit yeah. Hard I would, if there was one bit of advice I would take away from it, is just to kind of move a bit, just to kind of do what we were saying about before, and either include more of that third C stack or do away with it altogether and hide it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah, lovely, lovely. I would say so Joe again, got his feet wet, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would say so. I'd, I'd have probably got wetter if I'm honest. <laughs> I probably could, would have gone further the other way. <laughs> I always preach that as well. It is is a lot of the time that you you'll see shots where people have taken images of water from from the side, and it never looks as good as it does yep. if you're right in there. Mm. Not putting yeah. yourself at risk, but getting right into the water to to bring that sort of drama and energy into the image more really helps, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to move on to this next one. And this is... Uh... Wait a minute. George Komarniki. Komarniki. Okay. Uh... G'day, George. There we go. We've got a bit more resolution on this one, so it's... Yeah, this is a bit cleaner. Mm. I'd love to get stuck into this. This is how I started photography. You know that, guys? Yeah, peer photography, Mm. that sort of thing. Yeah. Look, I I, I originally bought a camera when I first moved over to Europe, and not long after a bit of travel photography, I was going home and back at home in Australia. I'm from the coast. So we've got this coastal area with full of piers everywhere, and that's how I actually train my eye mm. to um to learn how to take to, to learn photography, to learn how to do seascapes, landscapes, however you want to call it. And it, it was a these piers were for me a a um oh they were like a 
they were a teacher for me. Yeah. Because they do teach you. They teach you composition. Mm -hmm. They teach you light. They teach you uh, everything there is to know, F-stop, everything, depth of field, the whole works, everything. And they're an amazing teacher. And I recommend people who don't um, know that much about photography and really want to get into photography and they need – they need some inspiration to find peers because they're they're a very very beautiful structure to photograph. Um, having said that, looking at this image straight away out of the box, I think ah oh, lovely, lovely, lovely shot. Makes me want to go down to the beach and take a shot now. Mm. Beautiful natural light coming in there. Mm -hmm. um, very simple. Yeah. Um, if I had my tripod on the sand right now and I was looking through my viewfinder and I would think, okay, how am I going to so actually imagine me being there looking through the viewfinder? What am I looking at? I would think to myself immediately, I'm going to put my tripod up a little bit higher. I want to get a little bit of that water in my mm. scene. See, it's a bit too compacted. It's a bit too squashed. That water, yeah. we've got a beautiful light coming through, lots of dynamics. There's a lot of things happening. The reflections of those pylons coming off. It's all happening in there yeah. and not so much in the sand itself, isn't it? That's where yeah. that's where the whole scene's really, really happening and that's what you want to concentrate on. So I would have just probably extended my tripod legs up a couple of feet and maybe moved in a little bit closer to the scene. Yeah, let's say a bit wider and move more yeah. in and wider. Yeah, a bit wider. And and then if you look at the very top corner, the left-hand corner, you've got the actual um, – the the pier itself, the actual main structure sort yeah. of coming along, but it's not coming from the direct corner. Yeah. And and, yeah. and I find that distracting. It yeah, should be mean. sort of very – not necessarily directly in the corner, but very, very damn close to it to, to give yourself a bit of an eye, a leading eye of some form. Yeah. Um, Corners of images are very, very powerful in our compositions. Um, if you utilize your corners as much as you can when you're composing images, whether you're even doing woodland photography, using branches coming off trees and those branches are, form are forming themselves out towards, leading themselves out towards those corners, that that makes a um, it makes a composition very, very powerful. Uh, here we go. So we're talking about cropping as we did before. Uh, just take take away a bit of that bottom third there, mate, and just concentrate a bit more on the water. Let that let the bottom third touch the horizon of the water. There you go. Bang! Look at the difference. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's another ball game, better. isn't it? Another yeah. ball game. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. It's not as distracting in that corner. You're not your eye isn't yeah. drawn to it anymore. Yeah, but I mean being on field, it would have been better to be able to do this on field rather than doing it yeah. in post production later on. It would have been nice to give more body of water into that foreground because that's mm. where all the action's happening. Those reflections are amazing. The light coming from that sun from the left hand side moving across is is is, is giving all the atmosphere in that image. It's everything. You don't even need yeah. a cloud in the sky because all the atmosphere is just coming from there. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's transformed it. It's a lot better. You were just getting you were just getting hemmed down down the bottom too much, wasn't you? Before, mm. yeah, mm. Mm. I think so. Good thing about these pier shots as well is you know there's so much detail in in that structure, isn't there? That hidden in the, hidden in the shadows and yeah, you know, and the light nice hitting the edges. Yeah, 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 you see the little barnacles and all like that. It's just nice to get a bit up more close and personal with them. And yeah, um, yeah, they yeah, they are. I, I really, really, um, for everyone that's li listening tonight and that will see the the live on on YouTube over the next few days and on Facebook. Take my words of advice. If you're new to to landscape photography, really, really think about this type of photography because you might not like it. But as far as training goes, it's mm. going to teach you so, so, so much. Um, you'll step away from this type of photography and you'll, you'll, you'll know composition down to a T. Um, it'll open your creativity, your understanding about everything in landscape photography and seascape photography, in photography in general, just shooting piers and jetties alone. So, yeah. 
Mm. And Josh, Josh just mentioned there the power of the crop, and it's true. Yeah. It yeah. is true. It's one of the most powerful tools you can actually have. Now, a lot of it people will preach, preach that you should have it right out in field, and that's fine, but you don't always see it. You don't no. always see no. it. And, no. and if you're focusing on actually capturing a shot, it's not always something you actually see out in field. And it, I mean, it's a simple thing. It's not, you don't have to crop crop it to absolute <sighs> heck, you know what I mean? And, and, and make it so harsh, but it's, it's a really good tool just to do what we've just done there. Mm. I mean, I don't. I don't think enough people see it, Paul out on, out on field these days. Is because too many people are looking through their LCD screens these days, yeah. not through well, the yeah. viewfinders. Yeah. yeah, and then when you're looking through your LCD, you'll actually notice a bit more because you'll notice what's happening in the corner of your uh, frame. Whereas if you're looking in the LCD, half the time it's it's being reflected upon by the rest of the light, and you can't see it. Completely. I'm talking the other way. I'm actually saying the other way around. By looking through your viewfinder, you're not having those external distractions that are around you. If you look at an LCD screen, you've got all your distraction around you. Yeah, yeah. And your That's brain I mean. can't. Yeah. yeah, your brain can't concentrate looking at an LCD no. screen. Whereas if you're, yeah. you're looking through that black box, you know you've got yeah. no distraction at all. You can really focus and concentrate on your corners and and really yeah. hone in on everything you want to do. Um, yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm. Anyway, great shot. Great shot. Good, good work. Really short, yeah. yeah. George. On oh, you, sorry. Georgie. So we're getting on now. So I just want to remind you that uh, next month we're going to do forest or woodland photography. And uh, very similar to this sort of thing, actually, because when you look at all these, uh, the posts in the water, I mean, it's, uh, it's all about separation. If you can separate some of those and actually get rid yeah. of some of the distracting elements, mm. it works just the same way as forest and woodland. Um, but yeah, get those, go, those in for next month. Sorry. Who was uh, going to speak? No, I wasn't. Not me, no. No, no that's no. me. I'm here. I must be hearing things now. <laughs> yeah. No, she, she must be just used to us just going <laughs> all the time. Wasn't <laughs> in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so get yeah. those submitted to the official Outdoor Photography Guide Facebook group. Oh, my God, Paul. That. What's behind you? I don't know. Turn just around. Just a green light. Just a green light. Be no, right. seriously, there's someone behind you, mate. Turn around. Yeah. That's what you heard. Yeah. I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just want to bring where has this image gone? Bear with me. No, it wasn't that one. It was this one here because it was kind of similar to another one. Now we we've got a bit of a problem with res resolution again. Yeah, mm, yeah. Uh, but uh, what I, I liked about this is the is the is the tone and simplicity of it. And it's almost like a mirror effect with the image. Yeah. Yeah. I won't, nice. I won't increase it, the size because it'll just, the resolution will just go even worse. But this yeah. is an image by Robert Dowding. Dowding, yeah. On your Robbie. Okay. And again, again, they're using the shutter speed quite well with the, uh, with the water in the bottom there, but I just thought yeah. it, would, it was something different because it's almost like a, it's almost like a reflection image, if you know what I mean, because you've got, mm -hmm. yeah, got the same tones top and bottom, but there's something just nice about the simplicity of it. Yeah, yeah. probably the horizon probably would be a bit more centered. You think, to Tad, or is yeah. that just me? Yeah, it it's off to the bit, left yeah. slightly, isn't it? Yeah, but something that simple, you know, the the horizon where its position is quite important, isn't it? Because that's what you're looking yeah. at. There's literally nowhere to hide, is there? Yeah, ah, so. that's not, it's a nice, effective image, isn't it? Canvas print on the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's something that you would kind of see that kind of office, fancy office print, you know, that sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's almost a painting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, pastel, it's a pastel tie dye. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah. yeah, it's got that sort of feel about it, but it's just, yeah. it's just simple, like we were saying before. just the kind of seascapes that you get that are just really simple, uh, some of the most effective I find. They are. They are. Mm. They are. Loving those reflections coming off that water too. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There's not too much to say about it other than the fact that it does need the horizon sort of sorted out. And I probably would have moved across to the left and centered yourself a mm. bit better. But apart from that. Yeah. I would like to see a bit of resolution image so I could understand whether we need to extract a, a few more details especially in the foreground, just to give it a little bit of something. It's, a little, yeah, yeah. it's just, just that tad too soft, isn't it? Huh? But again, yeah. 
This is a compressed image on Facebook, and it's hard to tell sometimes, isn't it? Mm. Very yeah, it hard is. to tell, yeah. Yep. Yeah, very hard to tell. So one last image will creep in before the end because we've got five minutes. So yep. bring this one up. Here we go. Which one's that one? And this one Kim. is by Kim Hiller. Hiller. Mm. And it's obviously somewhere... I'm assuming like Florida or somewhere like that because there's a pelican yeah. flying in. It so looks, looks a bit like, like it's it looks like yeah, Santa Monica Boulevard in California. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere with pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't really um, narrow it down that much, but <laughs> yeah. there's a pier there. Um look, yeah, first thing, what's the first thing you see, guys? Come on, come on. One, <clears> two, <throat> three, go. First thing first you see. Thing, yeah. First thing you see. First thing I see is the person <laughs> off to the right. Yeah. Hey. The first nice thing up. I see is is the bird. Is the first thing I notice is the bird. First thing you notice is the bird. Tom. Yeah. 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 The silhouetted bird stands out for me. I would say initially. Okay. Oh, hang on. The... No, no, no. I've just yeah. spotted it. Yeah. What? The horizon. Yeah. It's yeah. wonky as, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's off by about. Th- about five or six degrees, which is a lot. Yeah. I mean, it you consider awesome. you you consider with especially with you know um, with horizons, um, we haven't got much distraction around them. Even as far as 0. 0.3 of a degree in a horizon, so 0. 0.3 of a degree shifting from one side to the other, 0. 0.3 is visible to the eye. Anything under 0. 0.3 it's hard to tell. 0. 0.3 is about sort of where we you start seeing it. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Out so, there. you drag that. If you drag that along, you'll actually tell you how far it is. It's pretty far. How much did you come across then? How many degrees? I don't know. I just autoed it, to be honest. For oh, speed. you autoed it. Okay, there you go. So, I didn't even know how to do that. Um, that's it. Bang. Look at that. Look at the difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. It, would you crop in, get rid of that bloke on the right hand side? Yeah, there? yeah. yeah. probably yeah. Not, would, no. to be honest. Yeah. Let's do it now. A little, a little trick, everyone who's listening. When we, I mean, obviously, we're just doing this quickly to show you guys how to do crops. But there's one thing you, that you should remember when we're cropping at home is that you should crop with aspect ratios that are preset into your cat, yeah. into your, into your the actual. <laughs> software you're using and why is it there's a reason why because a lot of <clears throat> these these crop ratios are what we actually use to print with okay mm-hmm. uh, or, or what social media puts out there more so for printing obviously we care less about social media so if i'm going to get a, an image and i'm going to crop it in and i'm going to bring it in to a crop of one to 1.25 that is not a crop that exists for printing it's one to one so we have to make sure that we use these preset ratios when we crop, okay? And yeah. try and be very, very strict about that because if you've got an image that you know it means a lot to you, you want to make sure that, that image is ready, it's cropped, it's ready for printing. So there you go. Here's a crop tip for you. Yeah, definitely. Mm. definitely. But yeah, that's a lot yeah. better. It's a lot it's better. Nice. It's got rid of the distraction of the guy on the right. So now the whole focus for me is the bird and the silhouette of the bird and, the, you know. The yep. background's slightly out of focus, so I think it's nice. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty much, um, yeah, good shot. Good shot. Yeah, but the, the, again, power of the crop again. It's just cropping, yeah, crop. cropping out the distractions. Yeah, we've got these powerful cameras with these huge sensors these days. Why not use them? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, we've got we've got the resolution to play with, so it's 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 no big deal if you want to remove a distraction. <laughs> That's right. No, That's I right. Do that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. So fantastic this month to see so many entries. It's been great. Um, what I want to remind you of next month is to get your images in for woodland or forest photography, um, and submit your images to the official Facebook group, the official Outdoor Photography Guide Facebook group, using the hashtag OPG Critique. I'd uh, love to see all these forest images coming in next month, like the ones 
behind Matt there. That's mountains and that forest behind you. The lovely oh, hang on. forest. Hang on. Oh, Other oh, side, oh. mate. <laughs> hang, on. <laughs> hang on. It's actually yeah. not that easy. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing laparoscopic surgery on a liver. Hang on a second. Down there. Some trees. Yeah. You see them? There you go. Yeah. Lovely golden light on those uh, beach forests there, right? Eh? Yeah, it's a nice spot, so, though, yeah. isn't it, mate? And it'll be right up your street, Tom. So uh, oh, yeah, yeah. you should have plenty yeah, to say wait. next month. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be like that. I'll be like Matt next month. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for joining us, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Can't wait Thank to you. see your images next month. Uh, look forward to it. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. See you later, guys. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Thank see you. ya. Bye-bye. Bye bye.